Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Bumper here, hope you're all doing well. Nice sunny day in South Wales today. It's Thursday. Wouldn't usually be a day that I pop to the shops on the Blu-ray hunt, but I've recently become aware of this HMV sale where they're selling the vampire movies for cheap and yeah, I'm just clucking at the bit to just uh, get involved. There's a couple of titles I've got my eyes on. I want to try and get 30 Days a Night with Josh Hartnett and Melissa George. I love that film. I think that's 5 99 or 6 99 I want to try and get that Christopher Lee Dracula movie with the nice slip cover. I think that's 5 99 So yeah, it's not going to be a big splurge, but hopefully we'll grab a couple of titles so I'll uh, take you with me. All right then, catch you in HM HMV. Okay, so let's just pop into HMV. Some Squishmallows in the window. My daughter would love those. Okay, so first section by you. Recommended viewing. I really want to get this She Freak. $14.99. It's not a vampire film, so I don't think I'm going to grab it today, but I'm definitely getting it soon. You've got this Zodiac Killer as well here. This film's not that great, but I do like the label. I've realised it's American Genre Film Archive. That's what it stands for. There's some um, straight to DVD horrors, disappearance at late something, pandemonium. Artwork looks nice on the slip with this crazy guy with the knife and the mask, but that'll probably be the best part about the film. There it is, Twin Down, the greatest Welsh film ever made. Desperate for a Blu-ray or a 4K on that. Border, I really want to see this film. This is the DVD, $7.99. I did order it off Amazon Germany for cheap, but I realised it didn't have English subtitles, so I cancelled it. Terrified, an amazing Shudder film. I've spoken about that one before. You need to check that out if you haven't seen it. Train to Busan. Uh, wouldn't mind watching this. Again, with the new Korean zombie film coming out soon called The Sadness. That's one you definitely need to see. I've never seen Peninsula, so I definitely... definitely want to see that at some point. This is my favourite section in HMV, apart from... Horror, The Tale of Two Sisters there, absolutely fantastic film. Yeah, sorry, as I was saying, um, world movies. There's Border on Blu-ray there from Movie for 10 99 so I'm definitely grabbing that very soon, along with that She Freak. There are two on the shopping list for next week, I think. <clears throat> Girl Walks Home at Night. This is supposed to be in the Vampire Sale, Seven ninety nine. I definitely want to get that one. Maybe today, who knows? I Saw the Devil, fantastic Korean horror movie, if you've never seen it. Martyrs, an amazing French horror movie. Probably all seen that, but well worth checking it if you haven't. This box set looks quite good of Boon John Un, the director of Parasite. Um, I really want to see Memories of a Murder. I've tried to watch it before, but I fell asleep. But that wasn't a reflection on how good it was. It was awesome, but I just never went back to it. 32.99 is a bit steep for two films on Blu-ray, though, I've got to be fair. I've never heard of the other one. One Cut of the Dead with a slip. Really nice. Again, no 21.99 for a single Blu-ray. No, thank you. All right. Here's a funny title on this film, yeah. The Rape of the Vampire. Uh, yeah, no price on that one, so not sure how much it is, but uh, interesting looking movie. Here it is, the Arrow release of A Tale of Two Sisters. That's the one I got. Fantastic film. You really need to see it. Tigers Are Not Afraid, 16.99. Again, an amazing Spanish language horror film. One of the best films ever made, I would say. Uh, Peninsula there, nice um, set with a um, booklet and everything, 17.99. I wouldn't mind getting that at some point. There it is with a slip, 10.99. I'd probably get that one, actually. And they got the box set. You have all three movies, but that's 28. Probably buy them all individually cheaper. The Seal one is just animated anyway. Wildland, have you heard of that? That's a new film. I'm going to look into that, obviously, before, um, you know, before buying it. But I've heard it's good. Here's just some 4Ks here, two for 30. Not what we're looking for today. But, um, you know, Cabin in the Woods with a slip, tidy. Although there's a steelbook book in America I might try and get my hands on. Quiet Place Part 2. Still haven't seen that, even though... I like the first one. I did try and watch it, but again, I fell a bloody sleep. So I need to get back to it. Candyman. These are just some cheap films. Zola from A24. I really want to see that. That's on the shop list. You were never really here. With Joaquin Phoenix. That's good. If that was a Blu-ray, I'd snap that up at that price. Point Break. The Fabulous St. Maud. Uh, here's just the new one. Here's that Spider-Man box set. 60 notes. Probably buy them all cheaper individually. Uh, no Way Home, probably going to order that from America now, so I get a slip on Monday. 
I was going to wait till it dropped in price, but Keith at Euphoria Pictures has twisted my arm, I've got to be fair. I might get the American one just off the slip. How I just um, box set type releases, both Quiet Places, Matrix, Back to the Future, uh, Fast and the Furious box set. Again, I'd buy all these individually on 4K. Would have been cheaper to just bought the box set. Evil Dead trilogy, pretty decent, but again, I want the groovy box if I can get my hands on it. It's only 50 quid now. This is a good one for £13. Whoop, I knocked over the Hunger Games. It's got Halloween um, H2O Resurrection and the Curse of Michael Myers, number six. And they're quite hard to get. Well, number six is anyway, but um, I have heard Screen Factory doing them on 4K for Halloween, so I'll bide my time. Otherwise, I will get that DVD because I want to see number six. It's the only one I haven't seen. Well, the only one I can recall seeing. All right, then. So here we are. Here's our vampire section. There's the one I was on about with a nice slip. Um, it's the restaurant release of Sunday, 12 99 That's a good one. Wish it was just a slightly bit cheaper, but hey-ho. Scars of Dracula. Looks really good. Christopher Lee. What We Do in the Shadows. Downright hilarious. Nosferatu, 12 99 Never seen that film. Pretty decent. And this is a good one here. Peter Cushing, Dracula. And here's another one with a nice slip, Dracula, AD 1972. All right, then we'll just have a quick scan through the horror because I couldn't see 30 Days a Night. I'm not confident I'm going to get it, to be honest, because it would probably be on that shelf. I'm loving my old school horrors at the moment. Circus of Horror, that looks good. Nice slip on The Exorcist. Don't Look Now, fantastic film. There's a Vestron release here, Dementia 13, Francis Ford Coppola. Critters Attacks, that was terrible. Here we are, The Devil Rides Out. What a hammer film that is. That's definitely on the shopping list, but I'm going to try and wait till it comes down in price. 15's a bit much for a Blu-ray these days, I find. Did have a slip up. This is the new one, The House of Long Shadows. Really want to get that one as well. Peter Cushing, Vincent Price and Chris Villier are fast becoming uh, idols of mine. Vincent Price always has been, but the other two as well now, especially Peter Cushing. The Mask of the Red Death, I really want to get that one. Mummy Shrewd, I want to get that one. I really need to build my Hammer collection, man. I love those sort of movies. It's funny, really, because I'm a real extreme horror fan, but they're really growing on me, Hammer. I like the simplisticness of the storytelling, the beautiful set designs, the gothic feel of them, uh, the gothic um, outfits, you know, the, the dress design, costume design. There was a quiet place too. They were six ninety nine on Blu-ray. It's not a bad deal. There's that she freak again. Gotta get this one before it goes. Rosemary's Baby nine ninety nine. I'm hoping a four K will come out of that. I am resisting the urge to buy it, although I do want to see it again. Extra okay. That's on the video nasty list, so that's on my watch list. When I start my video nasty journey that I'm going to be doing videos on. I watched a few, but I'll watch them again for the sake of the video. To the Devil Adored, another Hammer film. God, they got a shelf so stacked in here. They just fall off when you try and pull one out. And yeah, and that's about it. No 30 days a night. So we'll pick up some purchases now and we'll get back to the car. Okay, so we're back in the car. It was a pretty successful trip. Although one title I was looking for they didn't have, I asked the guy behind the counter and he said it's a bit store Pacific. Excuse me. So I'd be better just ordering it online for a kick and collect, so I'll do that when I get home. I did get five titles, all from the vampire section apart from one. I could have bought loads of titles, i got to be honest, but I wanted to keep it Pacific to that sale. Um, because, you know, you start going crazy and getting loose and you just don't know where to stop, do you? So I got five titles, four from the vampire sale and then one other title... I was going to do um, unboxing in the car, I'll just show you in the car, but I think I will go home and do a proper unboxing on my table, because one or two of them do feel quite thick, so there might be some extras inside. All right then, so catch up with you soon. Okay, so we're back home now then, after our little HMV trip, and these are the five titles that I got. So, we'll go with the one outside of the Vampire Sale first. I couldn't leave this here for six ninety nine. I'd love to get the 4K, but... You know, it was a new film shot digitally, so I very much doubt there's a huge lot of difference between the quality. That's A Quiet Place 2. So I've seen the first one, a great film. Should have seen the second one by now, really, being a horror fan. But it's just one of those movies I've never got around to. And that's part of the reason, really, why I grabbed the Blu-ray 6 99 You can't fault it. got a slip cover as well. Oh, there's my dog. There's not going to be much inside, so I won't bother opening this one. It's just going to be the disc. But um, yeah, can't afford it. Six ninety nine for the Quiet Place. Too awesome.
All right, then in the sale then, the Dracula ones. I'm going to try and do these in the order they were released, I think, because I'm not great with the Hammer films. I don't know um, by looking at them which one came first, but this is, I think, the oldest one. So this is Dracula AD 1972. So this is Christopher Lee playing Dracula for the first time with the ever-brilliant Peter Cushing. So I got the lovely slip cover like I wanted. I'm really trying to collect all my Hammer horror films. There it is on the inside, lovely. Maybe we'll open him up just to see if there is anything inside this one. I love that artwork on there. So I'm really getting a fondness for these horror films, uh, these Hammer horror films as I get older. I love the set designs, the costume designs. You know, I just love gothic horror, if I'm honest. And, you know, like I said earlier, I like the simplicity of the storylines. They're not complicated. You know, they're not head scratching. Uh, just a plain disc. So, yeah, this one is from 1958. This is, I could be wrong, I think this is the first ever Hammer film. It's in colour, so actually I could be wrong about it being the first, but the first Dracula one. So, yeah, so that's Dracula, AD 1972. Okay, so then the next one is Scars of Dracula. So, again, i got a lovely slip cover. It's um, obviously Hammer again, Christopher Lee again, Um Jenny Handy and Christopher Matthews. Can't say I'm familiar with those. i got to be honest. This one is from um, 1970. So this one's a bit more recent. So I would imagine this one's got a bit more blood in it, maybe a bit more effects work. So yeah, looking forward to watching that. Scars of Dracula. I kind of messed up my order. I said I was going to do them in the year of release. But I think I've gone and done it backwards i said that first one was 1958 that dracula ad 72 i'm wrong it's 1972 so the first one i showed you is the most modern one and then this is the next modern one afterwards so that one i just showed you that should be good for the effects work and stuff and i think it's the fifth time christopher lee played dracula for hammer so um yeah that's really good I would start the video again after making that mistake, but once you've unboxed them, you've unboxed them. Okay, so it's the same artwork as the slipcover on this one on the inside. Two discs, though, so that's really good. Uh, one's a DVD and one's a Blu-ray, I think, rather than, like, one features, one thing, one film. But there are some extras on there. So, yeah, that's great. Can't wait to watch that one. Scars of Dracula. So then this one is Taste the Blood of Dracula. So again, um, this is Christopher Lee as Dracula. This one is from 1969. All right, so it's got Linda Hayden, Anthony Cornell and Jeffrey Keane. Peter Salas is in it, actually. No, Peter Salas. But that's about it with the cast, Peter Salas and Christopher Lee. This one looks really good. I love the cover art on it. We'll open him up, see if there's anything inside. Well, there's my dog again, just to spoil my video. Okay, so that's got a blue disc like this, like the Dracula AD 1972. So, yeah, Taste the Blood of Dracula 15 as well. Can't wait to watch that one. All right, then, then the very last one that I bought is from 1958. This is the first Hammer Dracula movie. And this is, well, I think it's just called Dracula. I'm having a mirror here. My dog's in the way. I keep dropping my mic. So, yeah, so this is 1958 Dracula. This is the one that felt a bit weighty. This is the reason why I wanted to do the unboxing when I get home. So it's produced by Lionsgate. It's a Hammer movie, or so I should say it's released by Lionsgate, produced by Hammer. It's got a um, good Do Dolby soundtrack on there. Loads of extras if you look at those special features. This is the one I'm looking forward to watching the most, i got to be fair. So it's Peter Cushing as Van Helsing and obviously the great Christopher Lee as Dracula. Who else? And yeah, like I said, it's from 1958. So we'll open this one up now and just see what's inside because this is the one that feels a bit weighty in the packaging. And my mic's gone again, so solid. Okay, amazing artwork. Open him up, two discs, Blu-ray. Oh, three discs, happy days. And then 
two DVD discs, one with the film on and one with the extras, I guess. So yeah, really happy with that one for the price I paid, uh, seven ninety nine. And this is a, you know, one of those landmark horror films. So I just can't wait to watch this one. All right then. So that's everything I bought. Thanks for watching. Sorry about a few technical errors there doing the unboxing with my dog and my mic, but it can't be helped. All right then, catch you soon. Cheers.